you're gonna be okay you're only in your 20s you're just getting started you have your whole life ahead of you and you're doing great <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Stop what you are doing. Subscribe, like, comment, and go watch a few other videos so that you know what my channel is all about. Period. Y'all know I say period a lot. I'm key. That's so key. That's me. All that good stuff. Um, turn on your post notifications so that you have notification every time that I upload, which is every Wednesday because on Wednesdays we watch key period here on my channel we do lifestyle beauty and vlogs and today's video is a little bit different I kind of want to say it kind of goes with lifestyle I don't really know what it goes with I'm just gonna wing it and says it goes with lifestyle but today's video is a girl talk so I want all my fellas you gotta go exit bye I'm joking. Guys, you guys can stay and watch this as well because today's topic is actually for men and women. Basically, what this series is, it's just, you know, I like I told you guys in my Q&A video, I'm going through motions. I'm going through change. Hold on, let me sing with my wine bottle. I'm going through changes. Like, seriously, like, I just turned 22 and, you know, I feel like people don't really talk about this. Like, I feel like people don't talk about all the changes that you go from when you turn 20 until like listen i'm gonna talk about it we're gonna talk about it right here today so i wanted to open up this portion of my channel just be, if you feel like you're alone or if you feel like you don't have anyone to talk to or if you don't feel comfortable talking to people you can come to my channel and this is us talking like this is me and you chatting it up vibing because i know i love to catch a vibe but we just vibing and open up and you know we talking period so this portion of my channel is called girl talk so welcome to the first episode of girl talk Rob with you. <laughs> and today's episode is about navigating through your 20s so i'm gonna jump into it but y'all know what first things first i had to get me some wine i had to put on my purple light like i'm setting a vibe for y'all i want y'all to feel comfortable like we're chilling it's not pressure we just chilling we just talking we relaxing so first things first i'm gonna open up this wine y'all so we got it open and we got to pour up real quick just so we have our wine on standby So y'all need to take this time to go get y'all wine, your drink of choice, if you want to do champagne, if you want to do Patron, if you want to do Henny, whatever you want to do, go grab your go grab your liquor and sit down, get comfortable because we getting into it today. So I was supposed to write like a script, I guess, of how I wanted this conversation to flow. But honestly, I wanted to do it where I'm just speaking my mind and just, you know, letting it run off the top of the dome because I feel like my feelings haven't changed about how I feel about this topic. Let's jump into it. So to start out this conversation, I feel like as soon as you turn 20 years old, there's like a pressure put on you. Like you feel like, oh my God, what am I doing with my life? Am I doing anything with my life? Am I doing what I'm supposed to be doing? Like, you know, you feel like it's a lot on you. You feel like it's a lot on your back. And... I mean, that's how I felt as soon as I turned 20. I felt like when I turned 20 years old, I was like, okay, I'm 20 years old. I don't have anything to show for this. Like, granted, yes, I graduated college. I mean, not graduated college. Whoa, I'm ahead of myself. I graduated high school. I'm, you know, I'm in college, whatever the case is. But I felt like I don't have any businesses. I don't have any, you know, credentials behind my name. That's how I felt. As soon as I turned 20, not really in my teens, because I feel like when you're a teenager, you know, you're still kind of a baby. But once you get out of those teenagers, you're an adult. Like, you're really an adult. And for me, when I turned 20 years old, that was my biggest issue. Like, I feel like I didn't have anything. And I was putting a lot of pressure on myself. And I feel like that's what I see. I've been sitting back and I've been, I've been observing my generation. And I've been, you know, just taking notes. I've been taking notes in my head. And I've been seeing what I've been seeing. And I feel like the common denominator in our generation is, number one, we let social media dictate what we are and are not supposed to be doing. So I feel like, for example, Jada, 
days, you know, the, that group of people, they're around our age. They're, you know, they're 22, they're 23 years old. And I feel like when we see them making big milestones and accomplishments in their lives, we feel like, oh my God, I'm not doing enough. Oh my God, I'm not, I'm not accomplishing anything. And I'm the same age as her. What, what's wrong with me? Why am I not doing it? And you know, I, because I was one of those people not granted i won't say i will say that i don't really let social media control my life when it comes to that but i will say that i was one of those ones when i turned 20 years old i'm like okay why am i not you know showing anything like i don't have anything to show for my age right i feel like if you are struggling with that if you feel like you are at the age whether you're 20 however old you are but specifically i feel like it's more you know relevant when you're in your 20s if you're in your 20s and you know you feel like damn you know i don't have really anything to show for it it's because you're not supposed to it's not you're not supposed to have anything to show for right now if you are in your 20s right now and you feel like i don't have anything to show for it, it's because you are not supposed to let me say it again for you you're not supposed to and this is something that i struggle with and it took me a minute don't get me wrong i'm not up here to pretend like you know i got it all together i'm perfect because i don't at all <laughs> if you know me you know but god has you where he wants to have you god puts you wherever you're supposed to be he is in control whether whatever whatever you believe in because let me not say god but whatever you believe in me personally i'm a christian i believe in god i believe in jesus christ so i feel like god puts me where i'm supposed to be during each step in my life so for example when i started my youtube i use my youtube for example i had been supposed to start a youtube supposed to start a youtube for a really long time I didn't start it that was because that was not in God's plans for me and I think we often get distracted when we see social media and we see you know people doing certain things we're like damn like well I need to do this I need to do that and that's not the case you're doing exactly what you are supposed to be doing if you needed to hear this this, this is your sign this is me telling you you are doing exactly what you are supposed to be doing don't let what you see control you and I'm gonna take a drink to that I'm gonna take a drink to that because listen like people I'm telling yeah I be seeing it way too much. I be seeing it way too much. Hold on. I'm gonna take a drink on that. So, I also feel like another thing that I see in my generation a lot, we put too much pressure on ourselves in this very vulnerable age. I see it a lot in females. I feel like genetically and historically, females, so now we're gonna get into it, right? Females are known, women, let me not say females because a lot of people don't like to, you know, use that term. So I'll say women. We are known to be the go-getters. We are known to be, you know, the strong ones. Like, you know, we're supposed to hold the family up. You know, you feel me? We're supposed to, and I, I get it. But with that stereotype, it comes a lot of pressure. And I feel like we put a lot, let me sit up, some posture. I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves as women, specifically young women, because I feel like we're trying to set up our whole life. We're trying to, as soon as we turn a certain age, we're trying to plan for the, for our whole life. And you can't do that. Like I said, God has a plan for you. You can't do that. You can't plan your life because that's not, if, especially if those are not in your plans that God has set for you, you can't plan your whole life. But I feel like we put a lot of pressure on ourselves. And I just want to give you that confirmation that you're doing great and you're young. We are only 20 years old, bro. Like I feel like people think that when you're 20 years old you're 30 or when even 30 is in but they think that when you're 20 years old this is it like after your 20s you have nothing to live for and that's not the case like 20 years old is just the beginning you're just scratching the surface you have so much life to live like i understand we want to be in a relationship i understand we want to have kids but me personally like i told you guys i don't plan on having kids in my 20s i don't plan on getting married in my 20s that those are not in my plans for me granted if god has something for me that's something different but those are not in my plans for me because i feel like your 20s is supposed to be the time that you number one make your most mistakes number one make your most mistakes yes i said it make those mistakes and you're supposed to have fun, number two. Like, you're supposed to have so much fun. You could look at, like, damn, yo, my 20s was lit. I made hella mistakes, but it's okay because I also had hella fun. Like, your 20s are a time for you to live. Like, you're supposed to be living your life, right? And I feel like it's just so much pressure. So now I'm going to get into the advice portion of it, right? Because this episode is called Navigating Through Your 20s. So I'm going to help you navigate because I need to help navigating. And granted, I help myself. So that's why I feel like I can help you, right? Number one. I'm gonna do three tips. Number one, pray. Whether whoever you believe in, God, Allah, whoever, 
you need to pray you need to stay because when you pray it helps you stay grounded and i really wasn't a religious person like i really just i had a different experience growing up with church so i always felt like the church was hypocritical but then once i got to a certain age i'm like damn like i don't even really need to go to church to show god that i'm faithful and you can if you, if you don't resonate with a certain church you can find another church right but that doesn't mean that just because you don't like to go to church, that doesn't mean that you, do, you can't pray. I I knew that I needed to start praying. I'm going to share my testimony with you guys, but I knew that I needed to start praying when I was really down bad in my life. And I, I didn't start praying when I was down bad. I started to pray when I made it out of that down bad. I started praying when I realized God has my back. I started praying when I realized that I didn't get up out of this by myself. Somebody had to be watching over me, protecting me, guiding me. Because it, it wasn't me. <laughs> I wasn't doing much of nothing. So it had to have been somebody and I knew that it was God. So that's what made me start getting grounded. You need to start praying. You need to, you know, get grounded in something. Even whether it's spirit spirituality, whether you're meditating. Because I was into meditation. I, You know, I kind of need to get back. But, I'm, you know, I'm trying to tap into my spirituality. And, yeah, like, you have to start praying. Start meditating. You know, balancing your chakras out. Like, you know, stuff like that. Tip number two. You have to start work, walking in your purpose. Whatever it is that you want to do that you feel like is calling you, you have to start doing it. Whether it's YouTube, whether it's starting a business, whether it's going to school, whether it's quitting school and doing hair, doing makeup, whatever it is, you have to start walking into that purpose because something is calling you to that. If you keep feeling it in you and you keep feeling it in you and you like, hmm, I keep feeling something gravitates, but I feel like I can't do it. No, you can do it. It's okay. You're going to figure out how to do it. If something's calling you to it, you're going to figure out how to do it. So start walking in your purpose. Tip number three, right? You have to relax and realize that you are only in your 20s. You are going to be okay. Everything is going to be okay. Like, you got it. It's fine. You're still young. You have your whole life ahead of you. Make your mistakes now. Make your mistakes now. Period. Right? So then what I did... So what I'm going to start doing, and this is going to be a short girl talk, right? Because I don't, I want you guys to really watch this video and I want you to watch it to the end. And I want you to give me feedback on what you liked, you know, what you didn't like, what I can work on, stuff like that. So what I did was I posted on my story that I was going to be filming my first girl talk and I opened up a box. So I said for you guys to drop gems, questions, topics, whatever it is. And I'm going to save these last five minutes specifically for that. So I'm going to start off with, I'm going to do advice and then I'm going to do a topic, right? So, first set of advice, which we're going to drink, so, because I really like this, I really like this advice, and I feel like I want to, like, talk about it a little bit, so, let me, let me, let me tell you about the drink. So, the first of it, set of advice says, it's okay to set boundaries, I'm looking at my laptop, by the way, but it says, it's okay to set boundaries and stick to them, no matter who's mad. So, I want to touch on that a little bit because I had a hard time setting boundaries like y'all like but we're gonna get we're gonna really dig into me in another episode of this like we're gonna we're gonna dig because we're gonna be gonna do some unpacking and I, don't get me wrong I hate to unpack I'm not a person that likes to unpack but I'm starting to get uncomfortable with myself so we're gonna unpack a different day but I was a person that really had a hard time setting boundaries because I was always scared of what the other person that I was trying to set these boundaries with, whether it was family, friends, relationship-wise. I was always scared of what they would think of me or how they would take it, right? So you have to set boundaries for you. Like, you're setting these boundaries because you feel uncomfortable with something. You don't want to do something. You have to be persistent in that because you don't ever want to make yourself feel uncomfortable or, you know, get upset about something because somebody else wants you to do it. I really like that somebody left that because that really, I personally, I didn't have, I had a lot of trouble setting boundaries and sticking to them. Yes, listen to this person's advice and set your boundaries and stick to them. No matter who mad, who cares? Fuck them. So now a topic that somebody left is self-worth. So, okay, that's a really good topic. I had a hard time, like, with self-worth as well. Um, cause when I grew up, like, I really didn't think I was the cutest thing growing up. So that kind of tainted my self-worth if you are catching my drift. Like I told you, we'll unpack in another episode. But I feel like the best way 
to know your self-worth is to fall in love with yourself. You have to fall in love with yourself. You have to start doing things that you notice that you like. You have to start just paying attention to yourself. One thing I can say about me is I really pay attention to myself. I pay attention to my body. I pay attention to my mind. I pay attention to my thoughts. Like you just have to start paying attention to yourself. So even if it's starting off by, start off small for once a week, on Sundays, you do self-care Sundays right just make a whole day for yourself i'm gonna tell you today i'm gonna give you some ideas right you wake up early you read a book meditate you know journal get your day started with some positivity journal meditate read a book like get your mind stimulated listen me or if you don't like to read listen to a podcast like i'm not a person that really likes to read i'm not gonna lie so i prefer to listen to podcasts specifically Anaya Ivy. I really, really like her podcast. I feel like listening to her when you first wake up, that really gets you going. Like, you get hyped, right? So listen to a podcast. So then eat breakfast, nourish your body. After you eat breakfast, work out, right? So now you, you know, you cater to yourself. You're getting your body right. You're nourishing your body. So throughout the day, go outside. You know, do different things that you like. Then now it's nighttime. You know, you've had lunch. You've had dinner, you know, whatever the case is. At nighttime, do some self-care. Take a bath. Put some rose petals in your bath, you feel me? Play some good music, put some bubbles in your bath, you know, catch a vibe, right? Then get out the bath, do a face mask, do your skincare routine, light a candle when you get in your room, put on your favorite pajamas, put on your favorite show, throw your fan on it, just kick your feet up. Like, that's a day of self-care. You're catering to yourself. I promise you, you're going to wake up the next morning like, I need to do this every week. Trust me and believe me, you will do it quickest way, like I told you guys get in tune and you know work on your self-worth is to fall in love with yourself and you don't gotta jump into it you can take your time take your time and even if you start off small like I said just dedicating a day out of the week to yourself even if it's not doing a day of self day a day of stuff for yourself maybe dedicate every two weeks you're going to get your nails done that's your time for you you're going to get your nails and your feet done or you're going to get a massage and a facial like just dedicate time when you are just it's just you. You have that intimate time with yourself. So now the next piece of advice somebody gave was focus on yourself and your dreams first. Everything else will follow. I absolutely love that. I feel like, like I said before, once you fall in love with yourself and you start paying attention to yourself, everything else will fall in line because once you once you start focusing on yourself and your dreams, people aren't going to have a choice but to follow through because you're going to just hold yourself to a certain standard where you realize I am not even on a level to be accepting bullshit from y'all like that's first things first like I just hold myself to that high of a standard where you can't even fuck with my energy like that's how you're going to really start coming I'm sorry I talk with my hands a lot y'all that's just I have it I've always been that way so now the last per- the last topic someone left was how to be happy within yourself and find your happiness so how to be happy within yourself I'll touch that first how to be happy within yourself is first things first I think you have to unpack you have to decide what it is that you are unhappy with whether you know it's the way you communicate whether it's certain childhood traumas that you went through whatever the case is you have to unpack that first once you have once you unpack that and put everything out on the table you have to start catering to these topics you have to start whether it's childhood trauma say you had you grew up in a certain kind of home you have to start addressing these things whether it's with your parents your grandparents whoever friends family whatever you have to start addressing these things and once you start addressing these things you address them you forgive you don't forget you don't forget specifically because you have to realize that certain things you're not accepting anymore now you've addressed them you've forgiven but i won't do it again that's what it is you have that's how you find your happiness within yourself and you just have to cater to yourself you have to take time for yourself and like I said you have to pay attention to yourself and you have to care for yourself like you have to give yourself that care and then how to find your happiness honestly I feel like you just have to listen to what's calling you like you have to do you have to really get a step out of your box number one you just have to start doing certain things and once you start doing certain things whatever you feel like you find yourself the happiness is the happiest in you do it you just start doing it more you start doing more of it but you have to step out of your box and you have to start doing certain things to find your happiness and yeah like you can be good boo so i want to start wrapping up this video because like i said i didn't want this to really be a long video i wanted this to be kind of short and sweet because i really do want you guys to match this whole video because i know y'all be needing this i've been needing this friend and I couldn't evaluate that talk about this. So I would like to end the video here. I'll end the video on this note. 
you're gonna be okay you're only in your 20s you're just getting started you have your whole life ahead of you and you're doing great sweetie <laughs> period y'all i would like to say thank you guys for watching my video if you guys have any other girl talks that you guys would like to see because i am going to try to make this a series on my channel so if you guys have any other topics that you would like to see during my girl talk leave it in the comments below don't forget to like comment and subscribe turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified every time i upload which is every wednesday because on wednesdays we watch e period i would like to say thank you to all my new subscribers and welcome to the family we lit over here period friend thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video